How do you speed up your property developments? You know what? It doesn't matter whether you're doing a conversion of a house into two flats or uh, 150 flats like I did a couple of years ago or something in between. It's so hard to come in on time and on budget and don't beat yourself up about not coming in on time because let me tell you, I was talking to a friend of mine who's a major house builder the other day. I won't say who it is because that would embarrass him, but he's got a lovely development and it's, it's a year and a half late. Made me feel better, I can tell you. Now, I have come, on, I have come um, in on time and on budget a few times, but I'm telling you, I've, I've missed that more times than I have got it right. And the reason is that so much can go wrong with property development once you start you know it, it may be out of your control it may not be so what i want to talk to you about are the things that are in your control and how you can anticipate issues and problems and deal with them early it's all about a lot of it is about being organized organization 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 and the big contractors the big builders you see the, the big house builders you know they are so efficient one minute there's nothing there next minute there's houses on a road in and that's because they're organized and you can be as organized as that as well probably nearly as organized as that probably so things like utilities utilities these days are so important um, so that's gas water electric you need to leave a lot of time for those to be put in so when you are looking at a development one of the first things you want to do is check that there is enough water, that there's sewage, that there's gas, or there's electricity, because there's such a shortage of some of those things that some developments are being held up because of that. So there's no point starting your development and paying loads and loads of interest and getting it built if it then takes another six months to get the water connected or, 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 or the electric or the gas or whatever. And it can happen like that. So when you look at development even before you probably agreed to buy it you want to check out whether or not everything is able to be put in i'm doing a development or I'm buying a development at the moment and they've said to me well of course the drainage main sewers there's new sewers going in in 2026 and until then you won't be able to sell those properties so that's an example uh, you know there's no rushes there in that case even to buy the damn thing to be honest with you so anticipation of utilities is really important and don't start the development until everything is organized and you're ready because all that will happen is that you'll get so far and then the builders will have to stop because you haven't got everything organized so organization i can't tell you it's so important and when you come to sell the units you know you need to have a sales pack organized so that when you have a buyer everything is in that pack the searches, the contract, all the general inquiries that they're likely to ask, so that that goes out immediately, you have a buyer, not three weeks later because you haven't got the gas certificate or you haven't got the 10 year warranty and things like that. So be super organized, there's no excuses. It costs no more money to be super organized than, it, than if you're not, okay? Um, of course, your, your, the choice of contractor is super important as well and, and that I have to leave to you. I can't help you with that very much. Apart from one, one piece of advice I would give you is I always pick a contractor whose turnover is three to four times the size of my development. In other words, if my development is a million pounds to do, I'm giving them a million pounds to build it, I'd like to see them having a turnover of four million a year and the reason for that is if they've made a mistake on pricing my job they've got enough money coming in from other jobs to cover it and get it finished if you go with a builder and it's his biggest job he's ever done and uh, that's the only job he's got on it sounds great because you've got all their attention but they probably aren't capable of doing it um, on budget or on time either so be careful with that but good luck but as I said, organization, anticipating any problems early on is the key to being a successful developer and coming in on time more often than not. Good luck.